Super easy A's are coming to global. But what does that mean for Saiyan Day? How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, it looks like we have a, an update coming to global Dokkan. Yes, that's right. As predicted, the 5.18 update is on its way to global Dokkan. It'll be here as of... Uh, March 14th as indicated by the maintenance notice we also received with this update information right this was kind of predicted when they released it on JP um, that the, there was a possibility of this being tied to the upcoming shared celebration and lo and behold here it is so real quick we're just going to go over what it is the super easy a how we can go about it and what i think it means for the upcoming sand day celebration so for those that weren't aware we are getting a new form of extreme z awakening right this extreme z awakening will cost 30 super easy a medals and will allow you to awaken previously easy aid units starting with the oldest dokkan best first so that's right the first units receive a super easy eight as confirmed by the uh, update info here and confirmed by jp during their producer letter a few days ago this guy will be really the first to receive an eca and they will be continuing in order which means next after this guy should be full power frieza and so on and so forth which means within the year we could possibly see str go cheetah's super easy a crazy thoughts right um with that though we uh knowing that this guy is coming this does give us a few bit of ideas especially knowing that this will be a full easy a event right if we look over here right they did list how this would work on the jp producer letter that basically it'll be a new super easy a stage a um working through the old easy a events and you'll basically tackle the stage and collect the super easy a medals where you can eventually unlock them unlike previous easy a events this will actually cost stamina as you guys can see down here 25 stamina to be precise and uh, after beating all of the stages you'll get your 30 medals to super easy a your character which will end up having this little gold or or diamond aura around kind of cool um maybe it's not diamond it's silver but it looks <laughs> it looks like that to me um but it does look good and uh, as they confirm it'll basically supercharge their passives right so i mean this guy on easy a he he didn't have much right um his defense 70 percent attack 120 percent for seven turns he didn't get a whole lot out of it, his original easy a um it was good for the time being but you know obviously not much now with such a basic passive the sky is the limit for this guy right they could throw in defense uh, attack and defense 200% or something or 300% who knows it's probably the last time this unit will ever get touched right they could throw in damage reduction guard additionals right there's a whole lot they can end up doing with this character uh in the upcoming celebration now that they are making it a point to share this first easy a makes me think that this could lead us to the theme of the upcoming celebration now many of you guys know i am totally jumping in that boat that the theme is probably related to the super saiyan 3 category it is long overdue for an update as it hasn't been um the updates to it are sporadic right the super saiyan 3 goku uh, for new year's was the last update we got um before that we got the super saiyan 3 rose but he's more akin to extreme uh type units as well as dragon ball heroes being that he was a hero's unit this guy here otherwise the last time we got a super saiyan 3 category character was the last fizz goku who released this guy here right the fizz transforming so it's been a while since we got a good update so there's a good chance that there could be an update 
on the way. And looking at the list of uh, possibilities here, I think one stands out more than the others, right? And if we look at the Dokkan event list, you can see that the oldest Dokkan event to have yet to be updated is the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta event. All other events so far um, have received some form of update, uh, whether it's through a new character being added and therefore a new stage, or a new version of the stage entirely to accommodate a new character. So this does kind of lead, I mean, all the stars seem to be aligning that there could be Super Saiyan 3, right? So Super Saiyan 3, to me, Vegeta seems to be the logic the next logical step especially when you consider that this guy could be up for an EZA as well um, this tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta as well as this STR one here this guy here both of these guys are up for an EZA um, there's one more ah yes the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta also do overdue for an EZA right he's not yet EZA. They could very easily create a batch EZA for these Super Saiyan 3s, as well as introducing a new Super Saiyan 3 uh, character through this uh, possibly a new Vegeta, uh, which would launch the category kind of where it needs to be, right? It's almost there. It's one or two missing units, right? Because we got the Goku, we got his EZA, but obviously two Goku's not going to work so well on the linking. But we throw some GT Su Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta's in there, as well as a brand new Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on his own. We could definitely be cooking with a team. Um, the other possibility is this guy getting an EZA, a uh, does, as he does lead the Super Saiyan 3 category, which means he could see his counterpart Majin Vegeta's EZA. Also works if this is a Super Saiyan uh, 3 Vegeta theme, because that guy would still be um, a Vegeta's family member, so he'll, they'll work outside of Super Saiyan 3. Now, um, just to throw out a few other options there, right? Because it's not always perfect. Um, this event here, because we're going to have to look at Pure Sands, right? Pure Sands, uh, the Masked Saiyan could actually be an option um, for the Saiyan Day, and not just a plain old Mass Saiyan, specifically the Super Saiyan 3 Mass Saiyan from Dragon Ball Heroes and Xenoverse. This event, like the others, has not been updated in quite a while, so there's always that possibility. A less likely possibility is a new Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I doubt that that's likely, um, given uh, uh, his history with Dokkan um, and uh, the just the, the 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 stars would more align here than here but you know never say never a new Super Saiyan 3 Broly could possibly be what it extreme team means uh, extreme teams need like the LR Broly from the ninth anniversary his team could really benefit from another Broly that is as top tier as he is especially if this guy is like an early slot one unit that would really help out the night the ninth anniversary Broly so there is that another option is of course just a plain old Super Saiyan 3 Bardock but who knows? Um, it, all of these could be helpful. Bardock did just EZA on JP, the AGL Bardock. That could be a hint towards a new Bardock on his way, right? Especially with him being low-class warrior. Could be very, very helpful. But no matter what, I think all of the hints here are leading towards some kind of Super Saiyan 3. Who it's going to be remains to be seen. But the fact that they waited and made this specific EZA a shared subject celebration EZA makes me believe that at least for this EZA it is tied to a new Super Saiyan 3 celebration. Maybe future Super EZAs won't be tied to the celebration. They could just be random. Um, well, not random. They'll be in order, but they won't be. Their order won't be connected specifically to the DFE's release. Whereas I think this one is simply because they waited to share it instead of just releasing it randomly on JP with the previous celebration as what everybody initially thought it would be.
So, guys, that is it for the video. That is who I think will be the Sand A unit, a new Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, possibly, as well as the, an overview of the upcoming 5.18 update, introducing the Super Easy A. We'll know more about this as the update uh, comes through maintenance on the 14th, and as we start to get our sneak peeks into the Saiyan Day celebration throughout this week. So, guys, that is it for our video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know who are you predicting for Saiyan Day. If we know that our possibilities are Super Saiyan 3, who do you want to see? New Vegeta? New Bardock? Another Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.